Hello, I'm Attila G. Horvat. Welcome to the YouTube channel of the AutoCAD Architecture Blog.com. In the previous video, I presented you how to start the project, and in this video, I'll present you how to create the column grid of the building. In this part of the series, you can create an elements type drawing named column grid, which later helps you to justify the exterior walls and other structures of the future building. First step is to turn to Construct tab on the Project Navigator palette. Then please right click on the Elements folder and select from the pop-up menu the New and then the Element. On the displayed Add Element panel you can type the name of the new drawing Column Grid in the name field. Then please press OK to step back to the project navigator. Column grid name drawing will be displayed in the elements folder. After it please make a double click on the column grid and the new drawing will be opened in the drawing area. It is important that before starting to draw, please make sure that the ortho mode is turned on by using F8 key. After checking it, you can start as the following. First, from the draw panel of the home tab on the ribbon, you can start the AutoCAD line command and then you can type a start point X 3000 mm Y 5000 mm coordinates. Please drag the cursor horizontally to the right and type 24000 mm length and press Enter. In this way, the lowest grid line is created. Finally, please press Enter to finish drawing line. If you press an other Enter, you can restart the drawing line and you can type for the first point coordinates X 5000 mm, Y 3000 mm and then you can drag vertically up the cursor and type 14000 mm. Please press Enter twice to specify a point and to close the line command. From the Home tab of the Modify panel on the ribbon, please start the AutoCAD Copy command and create all the vertical grid lines. By repeating copy of the left vertical line to 10,000, 12,500 and 20,000 mm. Now please copy the lower horizontal line to 305,000, 6,000 7500 and 10,000 mm and you can create the other horizontal axis grid line. The next step is to press X close button at the top right corner of the palette and please hide the left side docked project navigator palette and press CTRL and 3 keys to display the tool palettes at the same place. Then please right click on the title bar of the tool palettes and in the pop-up menu you can ask to display the palettes of the design palette group if it not be the current. Now you will use a tool from the top design tool palette. Now please right click above the column grid tool and then select the Apply Tool Properties to 
and then the line work from the displayed pop-up menu. Please note that the same tool can be found on the ribbon build panel of the Home tab when the Engine's custom grid list is dropped down. If the column grid has already selected, it is possible to fill data into the column grid label, but you can do it any time later on if you do not do it now. Please select the Edit Labels command from the Label panel of the Contextual tab. To start Program Prompt, pick the first custom column grid line. Please select the first left element of the top label bar. And then in order to display the prompts, select the other three as well. When you finished it, please move on with Enter or with right click type one value to program prompt, enter a label value OR, so the program will upload values the previously showed labels. After it, program prompt will go on and it is possible to upload the other direction labels. First you can select the top element of the vertical label bar and then one after the other the rest. After selecting the last element, please press enter and to program prompt type the first value A. Please accept it with an other enter and finally press one more enter to exit the program. Now you can delete the selected column grid status and grips display by pressing escape. Finally, with the save command, save the work to columngrid.dwg. Please don't forget to close the columngrid.dwg drawing with the application menu, then the close and finally with the current drawing commands. You can also use of course the close X command at the top right corner of the drawing area. Please remember that a new feature of the AutoCAD 2014 is the file tabs which easily and simply close the drawing. In the next series I show you how to create the construction drawing and insert XREF. If you like this tutorial, make sure you subscribe for more.